What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my satyr and today we are talking about Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. The main thing that really captured me about this book was that it's about this coven like Her Majesty's Royal Coven that has been around for centuries for a really long time. It dates all the way back to Anne Boleyn with her being the founder of this coven which was really fun and it also feels like you know in this time where it's really hard to enjoy Harry Potter because of a lot of the things with J.K. Rowling and all of the things that she said, this book feels like it was written for us, like for those of us who are struggling with that, because we are given this really mature, really well-rounded look at what the wizarding world could be with this coven. There's lots of other covens scattered throughout the world. We have, you know, their own little sect for the warlocks and the men and all of that. And then on top of that, the main theme of this book is about being transgender and about what that means. Like, what makes you a witch? Is it being a man? Man or a woman? What does it mean to be a man or a woman? And when all of these main characters are caught on different sides of this issue, it felt so unbelievably nuanced. And it really, truly felt like Juno Dawson was like, JK Rowling, you are so freaking stupid. Here's how you actually write a really good wizarding story. Like I said, this book is centered around like a transgender issue. And I'm really trying like not to give a whole lot away. But we have a child who is possibly the prophesied like harbinger of doom basically who could like bring about like the end of days and this next big war we find in the center of this conflict kind of either helping or harming the situation are these witches who were best friends they grew up together and the story almost feels like it's a story after the story because when they were in their 20s they fought in this really big like witch war they were really tight-knit and all of that and that feels like wow like isn't that the book that we should be reading but instead we're a couple of years later these women are in their 30. Some of them have gotten married and had kids. Some of them have left the coven to create their own coven. Some of them have, you know, lost loved ones and are trying to find a way to keep going. Some are very high up in like HMRC and seeing them kind of at these different places in their lives and have to come back together because of this issue was really cool. It felt very nuanced and I really enjoyed that. Overall, like my favorite character in the story was Neve. I do think you could say like she is the main character in the story and I will say the ending of this book just had me like oh my god like what is going on I think this book is gonna be a series it needs to be a series and like I just don't know how to feel about going into the next book because it just so many things happened. This book was so nuanced. It was so well spoken. It was so well done. I will say I'm giving this book an A minus and that's mostly just because it took me a long time to get into it. Like I said, I felt like we were coming into the story too late. I was like, shouldn't we be hearing about these women earlier, like during this war? Like there's not a lot happening now. But as the story went on and as I became more attached to Neve and you kind of see like where these other characters are at and where they're coming from and the pieces really started to move together, it turned into this really, really beautiful story. So I would definitely recommend Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I will say though, even though I really do recommend this book, like I'm not transgender. I don't know any close people who are transgender. So I worry that some of the trauma in this book might be a little bit too much. So I say just go into it with some discretion, maybe look up a couple of things if you're unsure about it. But overall, I think this book was really, well done and the whole time I just kept hearing you know like screw you JK Rowling like this is how it's done but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to top books with me every week that's everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time bye